Hey y'all, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's Robin from Table Talk with Robin and today I'm going to show you how I styled one of my fall tier trays in a collab being hosted by the beautiful Penny from At Penny's Place and her co-host Jerry from A Happy Hoarder. Now they have asked us to style and decorate a tiered tray with fall inspiration. Now you guys know I love summer and I'm not wanting to see summer go away, but I know a lot of you like fall uh, because you don't like the hot weather, but I'm the exact opposite. So in this um, tiered tray, I have used pink as my inspiration um, because I'm also going to be using, using it in a upcoming collab that um, is featuring pink as the um, color um, combination for fall. Now you guys are going to have to excuse my dining room because I initially intended to do this outside on my patio, but it was absolutely storming. Um, so I will be doing this in my dining room for my upcoming tablescape for the next collab. Now I'm not into farmhouse or the rustic country appeal. Um, and I think that's what most tiered trays are geared toward. Um, my style is more boho chic and I think that I achieved that creating this um, tiered tray today. I did go on a little shopping spree for this one because um, I wanted to pick up a couple of things to put in um, the baskets that I didn't have and that would include this cute little white bird that pink wooden pumpkin that little bird right there and the pink truck it is absolutely adorable and I got all of those things from TJ Maxx yeah TJ Maxx and the truck is actually a candle and I am not gonna burn it because it is so cute um, but that's the things that I got oh and I got the little owl, owl um, candle holder um, from Hobby Lobby and the little vases um, came from the Dollar Tree and the, the um, dish towel came from Hobby Lobby as well. And you know everything right now for fall is 40 to 50% off. And their winter stuff, excuse me, their winter stuff is 40% um, off already of their Christmas stuff. So that's the things that I did purchase for this. Um, I have a um, string of wooden beads with um, jute tassel on the end of it that's draped across the top basket, excuse me, of the tiered tray, which I purchased from the thrift store, and I think it was $10 for the, um, the tray, and it is huge, absolutely huge. Then I found a baby one that's probably <laughs> this it's much smaller than even the top basket. It's a two-tier tray. Um, can't, oh, from um, Target a few years ago uh, for five dollars in the um, bullseye or the dollar spot or whatever they call it. Um, but everything else I already had. Y'all know I have a blue million pumpkins in every form, shape, color, texture, material, whatever. Uh, but I have lots of pumpkins and so all of the other pumpkins came from that um, my stash um, I think That's about it. I just kind of strategically placed um, items in it um, to fill it up, but not make it look um, overloaded with things the um, acorns. I can't remember where I got those from, but I want to say maybe Hobby Lobby a couple of years ago. And the little, excuse me, Capiz shell. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm sleepy. The Capiz shell um, 
sphere. Um, can't remember where I got it from either. Maybe Hobby Lobby. Um, yeah, Hobby Lobby. The um, pink iridescent candles um, came from either TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Um, most of the time, that's where I get my stuff from. If it's not Dollar Tree, um, it's Hobby Lobby, TJ Maxx, or Marshalls. And then the flowers are peonies, and I got them from Amazon.com, and they have a uh, like an ombre effect pink on them. The pink velvet pup pumpkins were given to me by Miss Martha of Divine Inspirations with Martha. She's such the, she is such a sweet lady. So when I was thinking of how I would um, design this tear tray, I wanted it to have symmetry, but I wanted it to have lots of textures and uh, some different shades of pink, though most of them are uh, pastels on the tray. And then I added a couple of other little, what I call pops of color with the kind of um, copper tone acorn at the bottom. Um, the blue sign um, on the front and the white bird and then the flowered pumpkins um, their fabric it's kind of like a canvas um, and then the the bead would be um, rope so there's lots of stuff going on but I don't think it clashes I think it just as to the uniqueness of this particular tray. Um, I hope you guys liked it. Um, hope it gives you some inspiration to create your own tiered tray. Um, doesn't have to be a lot. A lot of people think that tiered trays are just uh, for food and serving, things like that. Um, um, but, um, yeah, you can do what you want with a tiered tray. A lot of people use them in their bathrooms. Some people use them in their kitchens um, for holding different items. Um, so it can be decorative. It, it, it can be multifunctional, um, decorative, um, utilitarian, or what have you. Um, I want to thank Penny and Jerry for inviting us to join them in this particular collab. I hope I did you guys proud. Um, please go back and check out their channels, which I will link in the description box below, as well as the playlist. Um, and if you haven't already joined my channel, what are you waiting on? I would really like it if you would like it, as well as other videos, if you go back and peruse my channel. Then um, share it with your friends and your family. And then hit the subscription button so you can become a member of my little YouTube family. If you like lots of tablescapes and learning how to create them, this is the channel for you. So with that being said, I'm going to wish you guys a good night. Be blessed and I will see you in the next one. Bye.